All right guys, welcome to another episode of Rotors. Today we're gonna show you um, basics on port timing, intake and exhaust. Um, also, just a quick demonstration of how many turns the crankshaft goes compared to the rotor. Um, and then before we get going, I want you guys to see that we actually marked a bridge port out. We're gonna show you guys um, exactly what makes a rotary wrap. Now as you can see, I marked out the bridge port with a permanent marker. Now, I also marked I added two lines here, one on the housing, one on the rotor. And then if you look at the E-shaft, the eccentric shaft, we got the top lobe facing off between the two spark plugs here. Now, and then right here is the top of the exhaust port. Now, right now the bridge port, as you can see, the factory port is closed. And down in there you can actually see where we marked where a bridge would be. Okay. Can you see it? Sort of, yeah, I can see it. Okay. Now with the bridge open, the exhaust port is open. Now with the exhaust and the bridge open, you're allowing the intake and the exhaust to be open at the exact same time, which gives you the distinct okay, brass now This is noise. a factory port, stock port. The intake port is just starting to open. You can tell by the light that we placed in there. That's the intake port. Now if you come here on the side of the exhaust, as you can see here the stock port is open. The exhaust port still isn't even closed. So even on a stock port, the exhaust port and intake port are open at the exact same time. Okay. Intake port begins to open. Intake port is fully open. The exhaust port, the exhaust is now going out. This face is just starting the whole compression cycle. So you got three chambers doing three separate things. Intake, compression, exhaust. Now we are fully compressed. The exhaust is now going out. The intake is fully coming in. Now we're starting to close the stock intake. Recording? Yeah. Penis. Intake port fully closed. The exhaust is pushed all the way out. On this face, the exhaust is starting to exit. The intake is fully. Now, on a large street port, as you can see in our video before, this actually gets port, ported up. So instead of the intake port closing here, it would close up here. Which would give you later port timing. Now, start back from the beginning with our marks and then our E shaft low point between the two spark plugs. The E shaft crankshaft. Just made one full rev revolution and the rotor made one third of the revolution. There's a second full revolution. As you can see, the mark is now down here. That's three full. Revolutions of the crank to one on the rotor. So let's say you RX8 guys or RX7 guys who are running 9,000 RPMs for the red line. When you're up that high, 
The E shaft is going around 9,000 times. The rotor is going around 3,000 times. Correct? Yep. <laughs> Port action. Okay, now on a rotary engine, I know a lot of you guys know this, um, but those who don't, now obviously a triangle or the rotor has three faces, three sides, they're actually called faces. Um, and what the faces do is they do the compression, the intake, the exhaust, and the combustion as well. Compression and combustion is the same stroke. Um, now, over here, you got intake being drawn in, you got the fuel and air is being compressed, and then you have exhaust going out. Now, mind you that all three of these faces at any given time are doing a job. Either it be intake, compression, combustion, or exhaust. Now you have the two spark plugs over here. Boom. The explosion happens. You have exhaust going out here from the last explosion, and you have intake coming in here. Now the explosion happens, turns the rotor. Now you have exhaust. Now you have intake. You have intake coming in. Now it's compressing. The exhaust is going out. More intake is coming in. Now any given time, like I said, these faces are doing something. Now unlike a piston engine, you have intake coming in, it coming back up for compression combustion, going back down for the power stroke, and then going back up for the exhaust stroke. Where the power stroke is happening right now, but while the power stroke is happening, the exhaust stroke is going on and the intake stroke is going on as well, all at the same time.